My name is Natalie Barden and I'm a sophomore at Newtown High School and this is my story. Um, that day is kind of a blur to me because um, it was the worst day of my life. Uh, so it basically changed my entire life. Uh, I lost my little brother and um, I don't know, it affects you every day, even five years later. Um, it makes me obviously more aware to the gun violence issue. I wish it didn't. I wish I, that I was still normal. Um, so on 12-14, I was in fifth grade. Um, we had a lockdown. And then when we got home, um, I was dropped off at my friend's house. Um, their little siblings were all there. And um, we kind of just like watched Christmas movies and ate Christmas cookies and like their little siblings were explaining what had happened, but it didn't click with me yet because it was so absurd. And then um, when I got home, my parents told me what had happened, that I had lost my little brother. And even then, it's like hard to comprehend when you're 11 that your seven-year-old brother was shot in his elementary school. So I feel like that entire, like, I don't know how long month was just like a big blur of people being at my house and meals being brought over and like I don't know I don't remember it that much gun violence well obviously it has impacted my life in like every way I live a completely different life now I'm a completely different person because I lost my brother um, it has made my dad more vocal he used to just be a musician and would only like gig at nights now he's the director of Sandy Hook Promise and works every day to try and end gun violence and um, gun violence has prevention has kind of become more of a part of my life since Parkland because it was a little more of an eye-opener to me and made me realize that I wasn't doing enough so now I am trying to put a stop to gun violence my message is just that everybody has to do something even if you don't want to because I don't want to I don't like interviews, I don't like talking to people about this, but you kind of just have to force yourself to do it. Um, it's really you're fighting for your life, so I think that everybody, if, even if they are the slightest bit passionate about it, should definitely be vocal and talking to everyone that they can about gun violence prevention and doing anything in their power to put a stop to the massacres. I just feel like that People don't realize that after five years, you still feel the pain of losing someone. And it can be kind of forgotten sometimes, but there have been shootings before Sandy Hook and they still feel the pain of what they lost in their community. And it just affects someone's life so much. So if we can spare someone of that pain just a little bit, if you can spare one person of losing their entire life, why wouldn't you do so? So I just think knowing what it's like that's what makes me want to prevent others from feeling how I do. I think that there's really nothing right now. There should be way more gun legislation to prevent people from losing their lives. The background check system is inefficient, not effective. Background checks need to be for all sales, not just federal dealerships. I think that there needs to be bans on assault rifles and high capacity magazines and bump stocks because I don't see the point of needing a weapon of war to protect yourself or hunt. I understand that the Second Amendment um, gives us the right to bear arms but that comes with restrictions and I think that those restrictions need to be in place for people to stay alive so I think that there definitely needs to be change in Congress. Our background checks right now are not sufficient enough and it has been proven time and time and again because criminals get their hands on guns and kill people and criminals should not be able to get their hands on guns. I mean background checks are really only for federal dealerships so it's so easy for somebody to just go to a gun show and get a gun or you know the Charleston loophole if their background check if the investigation isn't finished within three days they can still get a gun like in Charleston and that's just happened so many times that I think it's obvious that something needs to change. I feel like adults have been trying so hard in the past years. I've seen my dad try so hard and they have done, they have been effective, but this new wave of students and youth is 
we're really making our voices heard because the fact is that we shouldn't have to be doing this. It is the adult's job to protect us, but obviously that's not working. So I think it is very powerful that students are rising up because we are children that are fighting for our lives. And that is just something so absurd that I think it's even more powerful. I mean, I don't remember the Sandy Hook shooting, um, like the aftermath of it too much. I know that right after it um, happened, Sandy Hook Promise did form and other gun organizations formed because it was children being killed and that was just such like an eye-opener that this could happen, so people wanted to create change. And then I think Parkland, it was the same kind of thing, like these teenagers are being killed and the fact that it was teenagers and that the teenagers in the school were able to rise up so quickly I think was even more powerful and so that inspired more people and um, I'm hoping that this is a new wave of movement. My name is Natalie Barden, I'm a sophomore at Newtown High School and I lost my brother in the Sandy Hook school shooting. That has made me want to work and try and create change in the gun violence prevention movement. Good? Yeah.